it's Mark Zaretti and I'm back here at Stonehenge and it's exactly one year ago that I started filming here. What I wanted to share with you is some really exciting news. So off the back of that documentary, I'm now releasing a book. But the reason why this book is relevant and the reason why I'm making this book is because this isn't just about, say, what happened in ancient times, um, in prehistory or a long time ago. It's about right now on the planet. So, yes, this is a spiritual book, but it's about you. It's about your birthright as a human being. It's about what this really represents in terms of a bigger, bigger picture. The book is going to be based on the documentary, but as well as sharing the entire transcript and over 130 still images that really help explain that in more detail, I'm also giving you kind of behind the scenes narrative throughout the book about things that were going on during the filming, but also explaining a lot more of what it was that the documentary is really about. Yes, it's a spiritual book. Yes, it's about Stonehenge. It's also about a lot more than Stonehenge. So if you haven't seen the documentary and you don't know what I'm talking about, I start, it starts at Stonehenge, but it also includes things like Avebury, the Egyptian pyramids, the Nazca lines, the Druids, black magic, and a whole load of other things that are fascinating. So even if Stonehenge isn't something that naturally grabs your attention, I want you to understand that this book is about a much, much bigger picture and what Stonehenge represents is the kind of the fulcrum point, the focus point for explaining this bigger picture. So I'm not going to tell you too much more, but check out the book. Um, it's priced not for profit. If you're a book lover, if you're a Stonehenge enthusiast, if you're a spiritual person, or if you're just living on this planet at this time, this book is for you. And I'm just trying to help all of us understand the much, much bigger picture. And Stonehenge is a wonderful example of this. So God bless.